Hey guys, how's it going? Wanted to take you with me on a little bike packing trip I'm gonna do overnight. Um, been in the car for about two hours. I got two hours left. Uh, so the plan is I want to go to the Davy Crockett National Forest and um, I'm going to start at Mission Tejas State Park on the northern part. I mapped out about 26, 27 miles of biking route through the Forest Service Roads. Uh, and then I'm going to land at the uh, Ratcliffe Lake Recreational Area. So really the plan is just to get a campsite there, hopefully something with electri uh, electricity because I have my e-bike with me, which I've never brought before. Um, and then I'm going to uh, do some fishing, eat some good food, and uh, hopefully just enjoy this beautiful weather we have. There's not a cloud in the sky. Um, it's going to be about mid-60s during the day. Uh, high uh, 40s during the night. It's gonna be perfect for camping. So I got to get driving, but I will see you there. All right, I'm at Mission Tejas, and I got my camping pass. So just gotta slip that up down here someplace. Um, so I made it to Mission Tejas. This is a super pretty campsite. It's really, really nice. I love Piney Wood, Texas. Um, so I'm gonna take my stuff out from here. I'm gonna load it up, put my camping things on my bike and my panniers, and then bike down about 26 miles to Ratcliffe. Um, I have not checked any of the, the trails directly or the road, so um, I hope they're all open. I hope, they, I hope my bike can handle them. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Cool. So uh, I biked about, I want to say like eight miles or so, so far. Um, just kind of stopping off the side of the road real quick. Um, looks like I ran into one of the hunter camps. So 
can see kind of behind me, kind of interesting. This is where you're supposed to camp during hunting season, either that or the formal recreational areas. So I haven't actually seen a hunter camp before, but um, yeah, no one to be found. I haven't seen anyone on the road at all. Um, so it might be, uh, might be kind of a lonely <laughs> stint to get there, but uh, I'm positive there'll be people at Rat Lake. So cool, I'm gonna hit the road again and uh, I'll see you guys over there. Uh, yeah, I'd say you got it. This road is just a little bumpy. Oh, holy crap. Uh, some of these trails are not nearly as good as the rest of this. So I uh, had to go through a couple of these. My bike is just filthy. So I'm gonna have to spend some time once I get to camp trying to get all the mud out of my fenders. That's, that's fun. Well, it's been fun though. Uh, see if I can walk through this thing without making it worse. Whew. This looks like a good spot. It's got electric, uh, got privacy. Um, I'll take it. Now I gotta eat, I'm hungry. Got a little pit stop at Exxon, so. This is what I love about riding my bike. I don't have to, I don't have to carry camp food with me. I can stop. I can be mobile and actually get food that I want to eat. So it's not the healthiest food, that's for sure, but it'll do. I think this is my kind of tall boy. I don't think I've ever seen this. All right, I wanted to show you guys the gear that I brought with me on here. Uh, <clears throat> I have a way I kind of set this up was I had two big panniers. Um, they just clip onto this, to the back of my bike rack right here. Um, and then I, in the middle, put my tent and my fishing poles and then kind of uh, just bungeed those across the top. So I basically had all my weight in the back. Do have a small um, pack up front for my recording devices and backup battery. Um, but starting with my bike, so I have a Trek Super Commuter 7, which is definitely not meant for touring or off-road um it's a it's a commuter style bike so it you know city streets uh going to and from work things like that but it does have some really good schwabby uh, moto x tires and those things are very puncture resistant so um i knew it could handle the terrain uh i made a couple of alterations of course i have a brook saddle on there i um i have a suspension seat post i just have a cover that's you know kind of keeping it hidden um but yeah, it, I definitely would not have made that route if I didn't have those seat alterations right there. I uh, upgraded the light on the front too. Um, I actually have a, um, what's it called? Uh, M99 Pure Supernova. It comes stock with uh, a 200, much smaller, kind of like a round light. Um, but I like this one, it has daytime running lights and then it has a ambient switch on to a full, um low beam i think it gives up about 500 lumens for the one that i bought but um did that swap out myself had a uh, had some help to um change the bosch settings through my local dealer so it would be compatible but works great i'm glad to have it i care about visibility on the road all right so um let's go with this bag first so i have a lot of my basic camping stuff kind of contained in here so um first things first 
is my my bike charger. So one of the reasons I got a, an electric campsite was simply so I could um, just charge my battery overnight. Um, I have a pair of um, kind of under tights. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess tights. Uh, just in case I need another layer if it gets too cold at night. Um, also have a spare t-shirt. Kind of a quick dry thing. Um, I have... This is my... Um, this is my chair. It's the Hillinox. Um, it's actually super light. I do take this with me when I go backpacking too. Um, because it folds out to a good size. It, you don't feel like a you're compromising anything, the bottom's gotten a little beat up, but um, it's comfortable, it's good. <clears throat> the uh, other stuff I have here, oh, a pair of socks, that's important. Um, I have my pillow, so this is a stuffable pillow. Um, got this at REI as well. And then um, I had a lot of people recommend this sleeping pad, especially for winter time. So this has a, um, a really good R rating. I'm not exactly sure what it was. Um, at the time, I think it was like a six or something like that. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll correct it if I'm wrong, but um, got this from Costco. So this is an insulated uh, air uh, inflatable air mattress. Um, and it's great. I, I used this last time I went camping, um, didn't have any uh, you know cold underneath me. So it insulates the, the air really well. And the reason why I got that one was because I have a REI Magma trail quilt. So a lot of people use mummy bags or um, <clears throat> just traditional sleeping bags or wool blankets, things like that. I like this trail quilt. And the reason why is because it, it maximizes the stuffing of the down on top of you. And if you sleep on your stomach or side, like I typically do, um, it's a lot harder to do that in a mummy bag. Um, and I can get away with that with the trail quilt. So I'll, I'll show you this when I get this pulled out, but um, I like it a lot. Uh, not gonna leave anywhere without a medical kit. So I have a good sized one here. I also have a little um, multi-tool that's, that's inside of there. Um, I have a bike pump on my bike. It's actually down here. It's compatible with the CO2 cartridge as well, which I have a couple with me, but I bought this yesterday just to have something with a gauge on it. Um, I don't know if it works well. Um, I just felt weird if I got in a situation where I need to pump up these big beefy tires with this little tiny, this does have a pump on it, but you'll be sitting there a long time, but then I don't know what the air pressure is. So I just picked this up for about 10 bucks. So hopefully I don't need it anyway, but <clears throat> just in case. And then I think that's it. I have a whole bunch of other random stuff in this other one. So um, this is my food kit. So I have an insulated lunch box. Um, so got a couple of things in here. I got some, uh, a steak from one of my local meat markets. So good. Um, got a stick of butter, cause you can't have steak without butter. I have some dried hash browns. I have a chicken with rice meal. I have a couple of cliff bars up on the top. So really this is, this is, going to be my dinner tonight, um, breakfast tomorrow. I have oatmeal in there as well. Um, if I catch a fish, I have some, uh, hash browns, which I plan on cooking with that. So, uh, that'll be good. Here's one of my power backups. So I have, um, I like this one a lot. This is a 26,000, uh, milliamp hour, um, battery backup and it has a solar panel on it. So I haven't actually tested the solar panels recharge rate. Um, to be honest, I feel like it would be really slow and kind of an emergency use thing, but um, it's helpful to have anyway. Um, I like the idea of being able to kind of, you know, uh, sustain my own power through solar and things like that. Um, have some paracord in case I need to tie something down. My, um, my glasses are in here. Don't want to forget that. This is my my mess kit. So my mess kit has a bunch of goodies in it. I actually got this from Firebox stoves. I have my Firebox nano stove in there, um, some camp soap, some cooking oil, some um, titanium silverware, a little cutting board, and then this uh, spatula. And then this is actually a plate that's kind of stacked into a, a GSI Teflon coated 
um, fry pan. So works really well. I like it a lot. Uh, I cook everything on here. I will boil water in here because the pan is, you know, a good good size of depth. Um, have my AeroPress and my coffee. Vital. And uh, because I'm in the National Forest, I, um, you know, I can claim dead wood on the ground. So if I needed to cut something up, have my silky. <gasps> Hiccup. I brought my Holtzbrook um, hatchet. This is the, I think it's called the Alkita. Um, I just sharpened this thing too. So again, didn't really expect to use that, but wanted it in case I needed it. I do have a little, and I'm glad I brought this, a little jet boil propane fuel, and then a little, um, the burner that goes on top of that. I'm probably gonna wind up cooking some stuff and boiling water with that tonight. Um, have my Snow Peak titanium cup. Um, earplugs, uh, charging cable. And then this is cool. This is my um, Lark water bottle. So I like this a lot. Um, they, uh, they make these water bottles. I have the double insulated one. <laughs> Or the vacuum sealed insulated uh, double walled one I mean but um it actually has a medical grade UV light at the top and when you hit the button it will if you can see it turn blue um that'd be a little hard to see it actually purifies the water inside and you can hit it I think three times and it will switch it to adventure mode which basically is a three minute purification so you can use things like a lake or stream or things like that so i actually kind of want to try this and you know they advertise that it self cleans that it never makes the water never tastes bad because it kills all the bacteria um and that you don't really need to clean the inside as long as you're purifying it um but we'll see i like it so far i have a little fishing kit so um, I just kind of put a multi-pack of different tackle in there. I have my um, little collapsible lamp. This does a red and a normal white light, but I kind of take this everywhere as well. When I go camping, I have some butt wipes. Don't leave home without those. And uh, that's pretty much it for here. I um, also have some biking gloves. Um, in my little saddle bag here, or my, my seat bag rather, I have a bike tool, I have uh, some levers, some CO2 cartridges, and a, and a new tube entirely in there in case I need that. So definitely don't want to have to deal with the flat. And if I do, I want to make sure I got all the stuff to actually change it effectively. So um, yeah. That's my that's my stuff. It's uh, I'm really surprised I could fit all of that in these paneers, and this bike did a really good job holding it. Didn't have any issue at all. The biggest problem I ran into was just the mud getting all through the uh, um, the uh, what, what are these called? The not the rims. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Uh, the fenders. There we go. Um, but you know that's just how it goes. I. Um, was able to get some better uh, road further down the line, so that kind of cleared a lot of the mud out. Um, but I'm gonna have to do a good cleaning on this thing. So I uh, also have a water bottle there, my bike lock. So this is a beast, this is the Abus X Plus. Um, this is like their highest end folding lock. Um, I like this a lot. It's really not going to, uh, if someone sees a lock like this on the bike, they're usually gonna move on, do something that's, uh, you know, way less uh, of a pain to try and get into. So that's the goal with that. Um, but yeah, so here's my stuff. I got to set up camp now. It's starting to get, starting to get a little, little low in the sun. I might set up camp and do some time lapse or something like that, something cool. And then uh, go fishing. I, uh, it'd be really awesome to catch a fish today. So we will, we'll see how it goes. But, cool. Hey guys, it's about 9.30. Um, I'm tired. It's been a long day. I uh, got here 
had some good food, had a steak, um, had some little mini donuts too that I couldn't help myself but got them out of Exxon. Um, so I ate those. Uh, I did go fishing for a little bit. I didn't catch anything specifically. I had, um, well, I, I snagged a little bass trying to pull uh, one of my lines up after I got tangled, but um, it it got off the hook right at the surface, so um, it wouldn't have been a keeper. But it looks like um, there was a, uh, a seafood consumption advisory for the area, so I probably wouldn't have been able to eat a fish even if I got a keeper, so... Um, but, uh, yeah, just kind of hanging in the tent here now. I, uh, I've got my, um, got my trail quilt here. I got, um, I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't. Nope. Sorry. Um, got my trail quilt. Got my, uh, pillow all stuffed up. I have my, um, I really like this, this sweatshirt. You probably can't see it well, but... Let's see if I can press the button. There's a button that lights up. It's actually a heated, uh, a heated hoodie. So um, it's uh, kind of cool whenever, um, you know, you need like a quick preheat. This thing actually has its own little battery pack that you can recharge and uh, you can get a uh, nice little boost of heat here. So I'm going to preheat it and then turn it off. And then under my trail quilt, I should be more than fine tonight. It's, uh, it is pretty cool. It's probably about 45, 46. Um, but um, I have an 800 fill power quilt, so I'm not worried about getting too cold. I think it's rated to like 30, 30 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 or something like that. But I should be good. Well, I'm gonna, gonna hit the hay. I'll see you guys in the morning. Morning, guys. Um, it was a cold night last night. Um, didn't sleep very well, not because it was cold, but just I couldn't get comfortable on that mattress pad and pillow combination I have. That pillow is just kind of small. I think the problem is it's a stuffable pillow, and I bring a whole lot of things to actually put inside it. Um, I just I think I struggle with pillows. I need to figure out what kind of pillow would be best for me. I think I'm willing to sacrifice more bag space for like a larger inflatable pillow or something that just kind of um, something that just kind of works out a little bit better. Um, so I don't know. I may I may check out some other ones and see if that works better. But um, so plan today. I need to make some breakfast. I made some coffee already. Um, Oatmeal's on the menu. I kind of want to fish, but I don't really know what luck I'll have. I can't eat any of the fish, which is what I was hoping to be able to do. I actually had some, um, I had some spices and some uh, hash browns set aside in case I could catch one. But there's a seafood consumption advisory, so I uh, probably don't want to risk that one. Um, but I may try may try f putting one rod together and just kind of checking the pier out on the way out with my bike. So I'll just kind of keep my fishing stuff on top. Um, yeah, uh, I need to figure out my way back. <laughs> Apparently, um, I was I was on a couple of private roads last night and I didn't or yesterday when I was driving uh, riding my bike. I um, I didn't realize that, so I don't really like doing that. I um I would prefer to uh, stick to the forest roads or find a new route. The problem is, if I take a new route, then I really don't know what I'm in for then, and if I run into the same issue, um, so I'll have to figure out that plan today. Um, I may do, um, I may just kind of see where some of the new newer roads I haven't been on connect to the old roads I were on yesterday, and kind of configure a new route that way but I'm confident I can get back fine um I didn't see anyone on the trail yesterday so um and that was Saturday so I don't think Sunday will be much different but um yeah so I need to get some breakfast I'm hungry um I need to warm up it's still kind of chilly outside so um yeah I think I need to get some oatmeal now so let's go do that uh, so 
need to get some water from there. Let's see what we got. I have we got I have my clip clip bar, so I may I may get one of these this morning too. I brought a different a couple different packs of oatmeal. Um we kinda wanna do let's do maple and brown sugar. And I'm thinking I might just be able to pour water into this. Eh. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Um, so I gotta get some water. Let's get this thing going. I really like this jet boil. Some water boiling. That run. Um, I also have these little like jerky sticks. I uh, I got this at that same place I got my steak. So I may I may snack on this for lunch. Um, I don't think I'm going to be back by lunchtime. I'll probably be back a little bit after. So you know, like um, I'm thinking like one or two. So I'll probably just have a trail lunch. And then um, figure out how hungry I am when I get into the car and make some choices then. All right, loaded up. Gonna get ready to head back. It's a beautiful morning.